everyone, and a uh, special hello to uh, my friends over on the uh, RC groups and uh, the guys that are working on the Mobius project. <laughs> Sounds like a government thing, doesn't it? Uh, actually, the Mobius uh, camera is what we're talking about. And you may have seen the uh, first video that I made where we're having a little bit of um, jello, as they call it, or, you know, sort of like a vibration in the video caused from the vibration of the motors. So uh, you saw a mount that I had in that first video, and in this one I've changed the mount and made another video. So what I've done here is <clears throat> I've replaced the sorbethane uh, with a, a little system here where I used uh, uh, radio control airplane motor fuel line. And you see that uh, I have a couple of boards with fiber, uh, not fiber, uh, carbon fiber uh, rods here. Let me see if I get a better look at what's going on if I turn this some way or another here. Um, maybe like this. So these are two circuit boards. They were double sided copper clad circuit boards that are really thin. They're like about uh, a millimeter, I would imagine. And uh, what I've done was I took the um, carbon fiber rods and put them up here and bent a little piece of uh, copper wire around them and soldered it to the circuit board after I drilled the holes. Then connected the top board with the bottom board using this uh, radio control fuel line and uh, it seemed to have corrected or at least done a really good job of cutting down on the uh, jello that it was having on the first video. At any rate what I ended up doing was I left the copper shielding on the bottom board and stripped the um, uh, copper off of the top board here uh, using the uh, you know etching, etching solution like you're etching a circuit board. So what I'm ending up with here is I have a layer of sorbethane underneath the standard uh, DJI Naja NASA mount. I'm not sure it's doing a lot because the screws still go through and make a pretty solid contact. Um, I have a magnesium adapter that I made here to make this thing like a tripod, but I suppose you could use any accessory that has that configuration on it and modify it somehow. Uh, underneath the board I just have a nylon uh, nut that I've made here to give it the uh, security that you need. And of course when you do that you can tip this and get at least that kind of uh, uh, ability to change the angle that you're recording from. So with that all being said I've uh, taken some video and that's coming up next and we're gonna have a look at it and let me know what you think. I'd be glad to hear any opinions. Uh, nice talking to you guys and we'll go on to the video. Take care.
Hi, John. Hey, Sherry. Okay, so this is the next day, and I'm at the Corsair Model Airplane Club Flying Field. And uh, this is located in Kent, Ohio, just off Route 43. Now, it's a bright sunny day, and it's a little bit, there's a little bit of wind, but uh, not too much. And um, a scene like this with all the open sky and bright, almost noontime day, I'd have jello jittering all over the place on the uh, video but uh, so far this looks pretty good so I'll go on with a few clips here and then uh, that'll probably end it Okay, over here the guys asked me to fly over the uh, cornfield and take a look to see if I could find any airplanes. There's a couple lost over there. Uh, well, you know, it's a job for some expensive equipment, but I thought I'd give it a try anyhow. Uh, so I flew over a little bit. It didn't dawn on me, on me until the end that I should have been, instead of crisscrossing, uh, going, I should have gone up and down the aisles and that would have given me a better chance to see something. But anyhow, we didn't see anything when we looked back at the video, and the planes still remain lost. So I think that's about it. I'll leave this open for discussion, and we'll talk about it on the RC group. So take care, guys, and thanks for watching the video.